Hello, Cancer, and welcome to my channel, Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, looking at your connection to the person that you are dealing with and needing to learn the most from right now. We are looking at all three sides of this connection. We've got your energy toward it, their energy toward it, and the energy in between it, the concept being that there are three sides to every story, looking at your version of the truth, their version of the truth, and this higher level unbiased truth in the middle, really looking at what is the purpose of this connection and what is the best way for you to move forward in order to align further with your higher self. As always, I've gone ahead and pulled the overall energy for the reading and clarified those messages, which we'll jump into in just a second. I have the overall theme for the reading already pulled, and then we'll be using a different tarot deck for each side of this connection, as well as an advice deck that I'll be pulling from in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. Last thing, please remember that these are general readings. They are not here to resonate fully for everyone and they won't resonate fully for everyone. So do remember to take what does resonate and helps your personal situation and leave what does not. On that note, these energies can absolutely be swapped. So if you resonate more with the energy to my right than to my left, or if you're a cross watcher, then vice versa, just know that's totally fine and totally normal. Again, the point of these readings is for you to take what does help and leave what doesn't. All right, Cancer, on your side of this connection, you have trust the universe with the Ten of Cups in reverse. I think it is safe to say um, that things aren't really going as expected when it comes to this connection. I feel like you had, um, you know, a lot of, you, you felt this connection had a lot of potential, has a lot of potential. Um, you know, take it as it resonates. This could be a past connection. This could be someone you're currently dealing with. But I feel like you felt this connection has a lot of potential, but it just feels like things are not like, like reaching that potential or you had certain expectations that are just not being met. And I feel like right now is a time for you to trust kind of the process of what it is that you're going through in regard to this connection. Now, this person, they have influence and distractions with the four of cups in reverse. Um, I mean, both of these cards to me just feel like this person isn't focusing on what matters? Um, is it focusing on what's even maybe good for them? Like they could be dealing with like a karmic path or, the, or a karmic situation or something. Now, like it, one of the things that comes through for me when I see this card is like they, they do have it in reverse. But, you know, the reason this, you know, if you look at this imagery, it's like the universe is handing you what matters and they're focused on what doesn't. So it kind of feels like the universe is handing them, you know, love, unconditional love. And they're saying, nope, that's not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about these things that don't matter. Um, and so that kind of feels like what it is that they're struggling with right now. And I feel like there are outside influences that are directly impacting that just with the influence and distractions. Now, in between this connection, you both have destined soul ties with the Knight of Swords in reverse. So you and this person were absolutely supposed to connect. Um, You're supposed to meet for sure and then connect on a deeper level. I feel like there is a very strong pull between you and this person. And I feel like that is intentional. And I don't necessarily know why yet. I feel like we'll see as we start to pull cards and really dive into the, the meat of the messages. But the overall theme for the reading is so this card came out, this card was on the bottom of the deck, and what I heard was knowledge is power. Um, so I decided to take both because I feel like they're both very relevant to the theme and the fact that, you know, when we can become aware and start to understand why things are happening a certain way, it can give us the power to act in a different way, like in a better way. You know, the more that you know, the more that you understand, the more that you're going to have the power to do what you need to do. Um, to do what's best for you. And so I do feel like there's a lot to, to be learned from this connection, a lot that you are learning from this connection and still a lot to be learned that is almost like helping you and like stepping into your power and, you know, be essentially getting you closer to being the person that you are here to be and having the life that you are here to experience. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in because I feel like that was a lot for just the overall energy, but we're going to start Cancer with Trust, the Universe, and the Ten of Cups in reverse. This is for Cancer's side of this connection. Those shuffled really weird. 
This is for Cancer's side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. Cancer's side of this connection. One more. This is for Cancer's side of this connection. Cancer side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. And just before I jump in, one of the things I do want to mention is this doesn't have to be talking about a romantic connection. This could be a platonic connection, a familial connection. Cancer side of this connection to the person that they are dealing with. Ooh, okay. The Hermit in Reverse, the Star, and the Five of Wands here. You're definitely at a place of like having some inner conflict when it comes to this connection in some way, shape, or form. With the Hermit in Reverse, it definitely feels like you've withdrawn your energy from this um, for the, the purpose with the Star of Healing. So I do feel like this connection has a tendency, like whatever phase you're in in this connection right now, it's like almost been necessary for you to withdraw your energy. Whether that was like forced, like this person walked away and therefore you had to withdraw or it was a decision that you made, I do feel like there was this need to like withdraw and take a step back because I feel like there's a lot going on like on a deeper level when it comes to this connection, then it, it, you know, it's often hard to see what's really going on when you're in it, right? Like blinded by love or, you know, having a tendency to see things with kind of that, uh, those rose colored glasses or, you know, certain, certain things like that. And so this just kind of feels like it's this need or like where you're at right now is like you've withdrawn your energy, you've taken a step back. And I feel like the purpose of that it's like this five of wands needed addressing. I don't know what this five of wands is referring to yet, but we'll see. Cancer side of this connection. Cancer side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. Cancer side of this connection. I want it to turn all the way around or hit the table. Cancer side of this connection to the person they are dealing with, please. The judgment in reverse, seeing the truth behind the situation. With the page of pentacles in the reverse and the strength in reverse, and there you are, is the queen of cups. Um, whether you're male or female, it does not matter. It is in reverse, though. You are in a pretty emotional state when it comes to this connection. I feel like this connection has a tendency to affect you in a lot of ways, maybe ways that you're not really used to being affected, that definitely is going to have the, the soul tie is going to play into that. But with the judgment in reverse, there's something like a truth that's needing to be seen or like, like needing to look past like what's going on and get to the root of it, which, you know, yes, we kind of already addressed that in the first message, but taking it a little further with the page of pentacles in reverse and the strength in reverse, I feel like this person makes you feel not good enough like not necessarily not good enough for them maybe that's the case but it, i feel like it just kind of feels like and and i do feel like this has to do with the fact that they're not focusing on what matters but it just feels like no matter what i feel like you have given to this or what you do for this person like i don't want to say it's not appreciated it could be not appreciated but it just feels like it's not it's not good enough and it makes you feel powerless in this connection. I feel like there's a part of you that feels a little bit powerless. Um, not that you, you know, are weak or anything like that. But I do feel like the way that this connection, it, it makes you feel small. That That's the biggest thing. I feel like it makes it, you feel like, like nothing you do is good enough. I feel like I've said that like five times, but yeah. <laughs> um, and so that's why I feel like there's this whole aspect of like things are not working out like you expected because I don't, I feel like you feel like this has a lot of potential and you've like put a lot into it for the sake of trying to reach that potential, but it just like, it hasn't amounted to anything, not necessarily anything. Like 
you could even have a marriage with this person. It just, it feels like it's not like coming to fruition in the way that you had hoped or expected. Um, but there's a reason for that with the judgment in reverse. There's a need to see past what's happening into the truth of the matter. Cancer side of this connection. Cancer side of this connection to the person they're dealing with. Cancer side of this connection, please. Well, there you are. It's the King of Cups now. The Temperance in Reverse. You could also be dealing with a water sign. Um, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You definitely don't have to be. But you are very frustrated. Um when it comes to this connection, I feel like you're ultimately though frustrated with this person's actions or lack of action, but with the Ace of Wands, like in particular, like action, there is definitely a strong pull to this person though. And I feel like that's why it's so frustrating is because you're like, I feel a certain way. I feel a strong pull to this person. I feel like, you know, we're supposed to meet, like we're supposed to connect all of these things, but you're, so then there's that part of you that's like, but so why isn't it working or like why isn't it becoming what it is that I deserve if there's so much potential associated um that's just I, I feel like that's where the root of the frustration is kind of coming from but you have trust the universe right like trust that whatever is happening here is happening for a reason cancer side of the connection to the person they are dealing with Cancer side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. Interesting. Okay. So you have eight of wands in reverse, two of cups, and the ten of pentacles. It's like, okay, hang on. I'm. It's kind of a weird message, so it might take me a second to, to understand it. It's like there's this confusion. Between what the type of, like, there's this confusion about what the love that aligns with your abundance actually looks like. So I said it was a weird message, so bear with me. Because I feel like there's this part of you that saw, you know, this potential in this connection as like what, like what your abundance could lie there, right? Like you're like, I see what this could be and what this could be is what I've always wanted. And that has almost made you, it's like warped the way that you've like invested in this connection. Because since there's so much potential, it's changed the way that you invest in some way, shape or form. Like almost like, like you're trying harder or you're, like you're willing to sacrifice more or whatever the case might be, which, okay, sure. You know, we, you know, the things that are, are worth fighting for, you know, are worth the effort. Absolutely. But you don't want to take it too far the other way. And I feel like this is just kind of a little bit of like a warning. Like you don't want to take it too far the other way where you're consistently finding yourself sacrificing what you need and what it is that you desire now for the sake of what could be in the connection. Because if this person isn't focused on what matters right now, then it's, you know, it's going to directly impact what you're able to get out of this connection. Now, do I think that we should, you know, be in connections just for the sake of what we can get out of them? No, absolutely not. But I do believe that we should seek out connections that are reciprocal. 
you know, healthy reciprocal connections where you give a little, you get a little, you know, it's, it's this in and out. You don't give for the sake of getting, but you give knowing, like having that trust and knowing that you're going to receive what it is you deserve from it. And so since there's so much potential, it's like you're, you haven't, I don't know, it's like the way that you've been investing has been different, or at least was for a long time, because I do feel like you've withdrawn from that, like in, like as of a little bit more recently. Cancer side of this connection. Cancer side of this connection to the person they're dealing with. Cancer side of this connection, the three of wands in reverse with the five of wands. So there's that, that inner conflict. See, okay, three of wands in reverse, five of wands, lovers in reverse. So you, you know that you deserve more than what you're receiving right now from this. But then there's also the part of you that sees what this could be. And those two aspects of yourself are kind of at war with themselves. Now, one of the things like with this three of wands in reverse that I feel like the universe is asking you to reflect on is where your comfort zone lies when it comes to your relationships. Because I do feel like when it comes to the way that you are lacking what it is that you deserve in this connection, that that has almost become what you're so used to. Whether it's in this connection or in past connections. That there might even be a part of you that believes that what you're receiving in this connection is as good as it gets for you. And that you know, sacrificing for the sake of potential is all there is. Um, yeah, I'm going to just stop there because I feel like more will start to come out because yeah, you're, it's like, there's this part of you, you know, you deserve more. Like you, you feel like you deserve more, but then you doubt that you deserve more and you think that this is good, as good as it gets. And then there's that part of you that's like, but what if I miss out on the potential if I don't invest in this? Or like if it if it goes away or something like that, which is never the case. There's always the option, the ability for love to return. Cancer side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. Cancer side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. Wanted to turn all the way around or hit the table. Cancer side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. Okay. So if you look at this four of wands, it's like you see... It's like, I don't know if you're necessarily like looking out a window or if you see it from far away or what it is, but like you see this like, like not necessarily a finish line. That's not how I want that to come through, but like you see this like ideal, this ideal, this is that potential. This is like what you see things could be, but it just feels like no matter what you do, it's always in the distance. It's always out of reach. Like it never... You've never actually been in the castle. <laughs> like if the castle is the potential, you've seen it, you've admired it from far away, you've done all the work to try to like get close to this castle, you've fought all these battles and fought all these demons, but no matter how much you try, it's still far away. This potential is far away and your soul's freaking tired. <laughs> your soul's tired of this. Your soul is so tired of the way that this connection's been going down. And then you have this Ten of Wands in reverse with the Ten of Swords. And the main reason why it's tired is because you have taken this person's, like, personal fight almost, and you've put it on your shoulders. You have made it your own battle. 
I don't know if it's emotional unavailability. I mean, obviously, like with influence and distractions, like you know that they're not necessarily focusing on the right thing. And it's almost like you've taken it on as if they don't get it together, then you're not going to have what you desire. Like, if you, if it's like you're trying to find one way to this castle, because this potential, it doesn't necessarily have to be with this person. But it's like you're trying to find one path to this castle. But there's like, there could be other paths, but you're so dead set on taking this one path to get there. But like, no matter how hard you try to try to forge that path, it just keeps, you know, keeps kicking you while you're down, to be honest. I don't know if that made sense. I feel like that was a little bit more like a higher level view of the energy. But I do just feel like it's like, you see what this could be. You've done so much to try to make it be what it could be, but nothing has worked because this person isn't doing what they need. Like they're not, they're not doing their part. That's what it comes down to. Something I've always said is that I truly believe that every connection could make it work as long as both people are willing to put in the work to make it work. You know, the person that ends up being the perfect person for you is the person that, yes, you feel a strong attraction to and things like that, but that is also willing to do the work just as much as you are, is also willing to give to that um, just as much as you are. And if you would have told me before I met my current partner that those people existed, I would have said, no, they don't. <laughs> but they do. They're out there. You just have to be willing to find them. All right, but let's see. You have influence. This person has influence and distractions with the Four of Cups in reverse. This person's energy toward cancer beings. What is this person dealing with? Or what does cancer need to know about this person's energy? That's a better way to phrase that. This person's energy toward cancer, please. Person's energy toward cancer, please. Okay, so this is the judgment in reverse. This is referring to your judgment in reverse. Nine of swords, king of pentacles in reverse. So, okay, this person is way more worried about like, I don't know how to put this other than like, it could be materialistic things. It could be that. But also like way more worried about the material than the emotional. Like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to phrase that anymore. Like they're more worried about maybe what they look like to others, or they're more worried about, I don't know, like things that don't matter. That's the best way I can say that. Um, then they are like how they feel. I don't feel like this person is very in touch with their inner world in a way, like kind of maybe separated from themselves. I mean, one of the definitions of this four of cups in reverse can be kind of separation. So there could be this like separation from, you know, who they are, what they really want. And I feel like that's kind of what it is. It's like they're confused about what they desire, um, which is interesting. Confused about what they actually want. Um, let's get more. This person's energy toward cancer. This person's energy toward cancer. This person's energy toward cancer, please. The devil. This is what you're frustrated about. You're frustrated about this devil. Um... Cups, three swords, king of pentacles, and there's the knight of swords in reverse. So there's they're dealing with a devil, like a could be addiction, it could be like something just really karmic, like I don't know what it is. But this is what you're frustrated about. 
Because this is where their priority lies. Their priorities lie with the devil. You can take that as literally or not as you want. But it just feels like... And you could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You don't have to be. I just see the King of Swords here. It's like they're investing... They're investing in what doesn't matter. Like, I don't... Oh, maybe that makes sense to you. <laughs> I don't know how to get any more specific than that. But this devil, because we saw this, you know, this temperance universe here. Like you're frustrated with this connection with this person's actions, right? That's what we saw, actions or inactions. I feel like it's actions. And I feel like it aligns with this devil. Like you're frustrated about their investment in this devil. I don't know. This person's energy toward cancer. person's energy toward cancer please one more this person's energy toward cancer so what is this knowledge and power talking about this person's energy toward cancer Okay, that's too much. That's too, that's unnecessary. <laughs> okay, we're going to try that again. I clear concise messages on this person's energy toward cancer, please. I think I was directing my focus to too many different things, so take a step back. Okay, this person's energy toward cancer, please. The 5 of pentacles with the 6 of Interesting contradiction there. Ew. That makes more sense. And there's the hermit in reverse, and there's the lovers in reverse. Okay, you and this person, whether or not you realize it, are pretty big mirrors for each other. Um, okay, so six of pentacles in reverse and five of pentacles in reverse. So this is this kind of withdrawal energy. I actually feel like this is them, though. Like, they're also withdrawing from you. Like, there's a period of maybe separation between you, these two energies, even if, like, you still live together or something. Because here's the thing. This person doesn't feel lovable. They don't feel deserving of you. Now, they could absolutely be entirely too prideful to admit that. But I feel like because that is the case, they don't want to face the uncomfortable stuff, uncomfortable emotions that come with that. And so with the Six of Pentacles in reverse and Five of Pentacles, there's this lack of reciprocation from them because, I mean, I mean, this is kind of this energy of self-sabotage. So I feel like that's why their focus is directed elsewhere. They, I mean, at the end of the day, they don't feel deserving of what it is you bring to the table in this connection. And you cannot love anybody into, into loving themselves. You cannot love anybody into knowing that they are deserving, right? So I feel like there's, there's more to this than just what they're doing, which is why there's that need to look beyond what's happening and look into the truth of the matter. Knowledge is power, right? The more that you can understand what's happening the easier it's going to be for you to take your power back. Because, you know, if this person isn't investing in you and you're frustrated with that, because I, I kind of talked about how this person made you feel not good enough, right? Like nothing that you did was good enough. Well, you don't feel good enough. And nothing that you do feels good enough because this person doesn't feel good enough to receive what it is that you're even giving them or good enough to, to give it back. Um, so kind of these feelings of like not feeling good enough. I mean, there's this more like unlovableness like, like if you if you saw who I really was, you wouldn't love me. Like that kind of energy. Um, and I do feel like this person's pretty insecure, if I'm being honest. Um, maybe they don't come off like that. They could actually probably come off, you know, sometimes when people are insecure, they come off as actually extremely confident. Um, but I do feel like this person struggles with their own insecurities, and there's a lot of projecting that back on you. So they feel unlovable, therefore... 
they don't reciprocate, which makes you not feel good enough, which, you know, obviously those energies are just going <laughs> to, you know, create more and more chaos. And so I do feel like there is like this, not just this mirror, but like, like this, this, this person, I mean, you do have destined soul ties, like you were supposed to meet this person, but you were also supposed to struggle to let go of this person. Like, because I do feel like there is a really deep lesson associated with this connection. Um, I mean, there always is, right? All my readings have deeper lessons. Who are we kidding? All right, this person's energy toward cancer. This person, oh, okay. This person's energy toward cancer. Empress in reverse with the justice in reverse. That's where the frustration is coming from. See, like, because this poke, this connection does poke at their insecurities. I mean, it pokes at yours too. There's no doubt about that. But it definitely pokes at theirs. Um, and the way that they handle that is doing whatever they can to control it, to control the situation, whether that's self-sabotaging, whether that's manipulation, whether that's, um, I mean, just, you know, if I don't invest in it, I can't get hurt, Right. But, you know, that kind of energy. I, I'm not necessarily sure what it is, but whatever it is, you're getting the short end of the stick out of it um, with the justice in reverse. Like you, this person, I almost feel like they're also like potentially pretty aware that they're not giving you what it is that you deserve. Um, maybe they think if you give them what it is that you deserve, or if they give you what it is that you deserve that like, I don't know. That doesn't make sense. I was going to say that you'll like run. But your frustration lies in their inability to show up for you, right? Well, what that is actually, if you look at the deeper message, your frustration lies actually in their ability to show up for themselves. So that's where you kind of have to separate like these two journeys and realize that like, yes, this connection has a strong pull, but there's also a deeper purpose behind that pull that might not actually be a happily ever after. Might not be what you want to hear, but bear with me. Okay. Cause I'm not saying it's not, I just, you know, needing to separate and realize that you cannot control what other people do. And the more that you try to do that, the more disappointed and, you know, not good enough and unlovable that you are going to feel. Because you're going to feel as if, well, nothing that you do is good enough, um, which is exactly where we're at. And so there's kind of this need to, to recognize, you know, there's nothing that you can do to control what they do. To, to, there's, you know, you cannot change anybody else. And their lack of making the changes and, and focusing on what is, like, good for them, that is separate from your value. It's not that they don't see your value. In fact, on a subconscious level, I feel like they do see your value. They don't feel deserving of seeing your value. And so they're doing whatever it takes to not have to deal with that, all that stuff. Um, I think this person's probably living in a, a pretty unaware state. This person's energy toward cancer. I came out with some, ooh, little do you know, this inner conflict that you're having about this person is a cycle for you, and this self-sabotage thing, it's this way, it's always upside down, and the self-sabotage thing that they're doing could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is um, a cycle for them. So both of you are dealing with like these internal battles. You're dealing with this internal battle of knowing that you deserve more than what this connection is providing you, yet at the same time thinking that this is all that you are, you know, this is all that's possible or all that you can have. This person's dealing with an inner battle of um, 
well, honestly, I feel like they're, they could have a lot of inner battles. I, I feel like they're dealing with a center battle of like wanting to be loved, but feeling unlovable and allowing their feelings of unlovableness to directly impact the way they invest. Yeah, this person isn't like, not like connected to themselves. Like it just feels like there's just like this. So there's you, you two individuals in this reading are absolutely stuck in a cycle. Um, and breaking this cycle is necessary in order for either this connection to come together or for you to find the love that you are deserving outside of this connection. Either way, you'll be happy. Either way, the focus is the cycle. That's why the knowledge is power. Understanding and becoming aware of the cycle can give you the power to break it. This person's energy toward cancer. But you have to be willing to break the cycle. Oh, there's a four of cups in reverse. Um, ooh. Their insecure their insecurities kind of control their life a little bit. How can I if they feel insecure about being unlovable, they'll try to get as much attention as they can from whoever they can get it from. You know? Um, that's just an example. I'm not saying that's the case. I'm just trying to think of examples. Like if they feel insecure about not being good enough, they'll pursue validation through work or through their career. You know, whatever the case is, it's insecurity comes with the pursuit of validation. And so I do feel like they're pursuing validation or distraction through this devil out of trying to avoid facing their own insecurities and inner battles that they're dealing with. Now, one of the most important things to remember is that it's not about them. It's about you. It's about what this connection is trying to teach you and what the purpose of it is to help you lead you to um, better relationships, whether it's in the form of this person or not. Right? If you believe in the concept of a twin flame, understanding that the purpose of um, that kind of connection doesn't always mean reunion with the person. Reunion of self. It's union. It's union of self. It's um, you know, finding the person that you saw in them in you, and understanding that all of the good that you see in them, and all of the reasons why you're willing to like, for lack of a better term, suffer for the sake of the connection. Those are all good things that you you exist that you or that exist within you that you have. And those good things deserve to be loved by you, regardless of whether or not this person is capable of seeing your value. That has nothing to do with the fact that you are not valuable. It has to do with the fact that this person struggles to see their own value aside from anything external. Therefore, they're not going to see your value in the way that you deserve. They don't know themselves and people can only meet you to where they're at today. So try your hardest to redirect all of this back to yourself. What is this trying to teach me? Why is this triggering? What is coming up, you know, when I feel this way? What is the deeper purpose to what I'm feeling? All right, we're gonna hop on over to the extended. You have destined soul ties with the Knight of Swords in reverse. So I'm gonna pull nine different messages and I have an advice card to pull for you at the end. Thank you so much, Cancer, as always, for your support of my channel. I do hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you were needing today. And as always, Cancer, I wish you absolutely nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. Bye, Cancer.